<laughs> well, it's another drizzly morning and uh, we are at Safala at the Crossley Bridge Camp. I tell you what, right where I'm standing here is the pick of the camps in my opinion. Um, just the uh, lookout back there and really you could come and camp so close to the water which I don't know it's right here the water's just down there and I'm going to say this here is uh it's a magical spot for because we're trying to sit out here for about a week or so to try and sit out the school holidays now I don't think we thought we would be inundated at places like Safala because it's beautiful next to a river not so sure with this weather though I think it'll actually keep heaps of people away but it means that we've got, we can't go to a main town because they're going to just be packed out. So um, it's our first experience of not having a plan on the school holidays and just winging it. It was a bit stressful. I think Kane found it very stressful. And now we're here. As you can see, we've got heaps of space. It's just whether the water wants to take the space or not. But... The gentleman up top there in his Mac, Mac truck was camping down here, he said. This is last Friday and they had about 40 mil of rain and uh, the water rose pretty quick. He had to scoot up the top there. And uh, so we're going up and you can see the high water mark. It's just up here. So this here is the... Um, watermark so just along there cross over to there on parked pretty much at the back of it so it would have come around just around the back of the fire here just around the back of our tent line right probably where i got my fire and up there so we've decided to camp as close as we can as that high water mark on the hope that it doesn't rain. It did last night, but not a lot. It rose about 10 mil this morning. But look, we still got a great camp. We're still really close to that spot. And we still look down at the river, so I can't complain and... It's meant to possibly rain a fair bit today. So uh, just recording where the water is now to see if it changes later. We'll see. And this is our firewood collection. Hopefully it's enough for a day. For a day? Yeah. Hopefully a bit longer than a day. We're trying to collect it before it rains. Don't know how we're going to keep it dry, but it's better than being down where it was. Put it that way. We're set up for the rain. It's just starting to fall. Kane's got his army hoochie out to give us a little bit of extra protection for our kitchen. And he's stacked all that wood that we got in there. He chopped and stacked it. He did a great job. Um, so we'll just see how it goes. That's a day's worth of wood for the fire there. Yeah, that we can't have. Because I love fire. I love playing with fire. I told him it's a wall to stop the water coming up into our van. So uh, we'll see. Okay, wait. Don't tell the wife but I did seriously consider lifting the mat here and setting the fire up under our awning. <laughs> Hell no. Okay, Kane loves a fire. It has been raining since lunchtime, but because he's got his precious dry pile of wood, he is able to have a go at starting his fire. Kane, how much do you like fires? I really do like fire. <laughs> Are you a pyromaniac? I am. I wee the bed every night. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look who just rocked up. 
our friends Chris and Marsha that we met at Kangai Camp. Looking forward to spending a few days with them at Safala. And our first adventure together is to check out the historic town of Safala. Come see what we can find. Food. Alright, it smells off, doesn't it? Ah, they even have a bit of comical sort of relief in Safala too. Eighteen fifty one, one of the gold miners' residences, just in the background there. I'd I'd probably say that fella up there would be around similar vintage. That's my favourite house in Safala. Yeah, all the old stuff. I just love it. There's so much to look at. <laughs> Doesn't want to touch it now because no, it's uh, perfect. perfect. What are you doing now? Oh, I've seen plenty of people use these on YouTube or Insta, so I thought I'd give it a crack, see if it works. Okay, give it a go. Look at it! Roaring along. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's what you got to try and do when it's rainy and drizzly for your fire. Okay, I don't know if it's a lull between the rainstorms or whether we've actually stopped the rain, but at the moment it's not raining, so we're out of the van just so we don't have to be stuck in the van really. And I've come down to the river to see if I can find any duckies. There has been a pair of ducks playing around here a bit, but they don't seem to be here right now. I, know, I need to get, I need to touch that piece of foam. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Put my piece of foam. Today we're off to explore the old gold town at Hill End and hopefully find ourselves a little bit of gold. Kane has been spotting this um, wind turbine station thing for the wind about farm wind farm for about the last five days every time he sees it he goes wind farm. wind farm it's the same wind farm every time but now we actually get to see it if you see right out there driving past it are you happy Kane? I would probably love to have worked up on those wind farm hills because they're right up the top and the views are actually pretty good so these hills are green and lovely Maybe not in summer when they're all dry, but they're really green. It's lovely. Lovely. What's that got to do with wind farms? Ah, it's not the wind farm. It's I just... Asked you, are you happy sitting the wind farms? Yeah, because I wanted to work up there on the hill with the wind farms. Imagine being at the top of the wind farm and looking out even further than the guy on top of the hill. Man, just think on that for a second. Oh, 
Obviously, Golden Arch fell down, so no more Golden Arch. Bye bye, Golden Arch. Yeah, when it's big rocks, big nuggets. Little rocks, little nuggets. No, but it's pretty cool. You can definitely see why they uh, mine these areas for gold. There's such big, uh, like clay, sandstony type banks, lots of quartz, running water, and plenty of little offshoots. So, yeah, we're not allowed to go any further. There's a sign. The sign says that's as far as I can go. Obviously, after rain, these fellas get very soft and they fall down. But yeah, ripping spot. I'd love to bump into a little nugget under the boot, get a bit of that gold fever. Well, these are the new golden arches. I don't know, they might be the golden arches. They're pretty cool though. But I just don't know after this wet whether I'd walk in there. They're just uh, a little bit too, yeah, wet. But I tell you what, you'd be hard pressed if you saw a shine of gold not to go in there and get it. We searched high, we searched low, but unfortunately we didn't find any gold. Didn't see Callum in that uh, campground yet. <laughs> <laughs> No, we didn't, but we'll go past the other one here. Never know. Well, we stopped at the toilets here at uh, Hill End. Yeah, aren't you lucky and I needed to go to the yeah, toilet? And we found all this good little treasury stuff. So, yeah, if you want to pop into the toilets, make sure you check out the shed with obviously, I don't know, the yeah, big sluicing. There is a bitumen road to come here, but Google sent us up. Oh, it took us on the fun road. <laughs> it boggy de road. It definitely took us on the good road. I'll have to thank Google later. This is a Californian stamp battery, invented in 1556. It had definitely crushed some of those big buddy rocks that we were trying to smash. Every, all this for coal. Oh, coal, you're an idiot. All this for gold. Look at the sunshine. sunshine. No good getting in without proof, buddy. What are you talking about? It's a nice hot day. We've all got shorts on. Oh, that is cold. Now, it might seem that we're a little bit over dramatic about where the floodwater levels have come to here, but little over a month after we left, this whole area flooded to right up to the bridge. So it would have been way over our vans. So yeah, you do have to be kind of careful in some of these places when camping near a river, especially if there is flooding going on. We have loved spending the last week at Safala with our friends Chris and Marsha. If you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe and follow us along for more adventures. I've organised a date night for us. Would you like to come to Lover's Lane? Lover's. You and me? You drink first, Kane. <laughs> Don't know if it's. <laughs> Something gets really dead. It's got a really bad way to do it. That's not. Oh, it's worse here. Oh, yeah.
know it's because the wind. Yeah. Something is dead. Something is really dead here. It's ridiculous. 